Joining us in an exclusive interview is Ibotta CEO Brian Leach. Welcome back, Brian. Good to talk to you again. Hey, thanks for having me, Sarah. So it, it sounds like the business of, of cashback and online consumer promotions is, is doing very well. Why? What can you tell us? Well, we know this is a moment where 60 percent of Americans are still living paycheck to paycheck. We know inflation is still uh, persistent and people are looking to save money, particularly on everyday items that are non-discretionary in the grocery store. It's a moment where major brands are turning to platforms like Ibotta to gain market share and make sure that uh, consumers don't shift into store brands and private label brands uh, at a moment that they're desperate for savings. So it is a reflection of the what what you sound like you're characterizing as a weaker consumer environment? I believe it's one where consumers are particularly focused on value in everyday spending categories, where we know that there's you know, a real focus on staples. And you've seen this in the news recently with uh, you know, news of price cuts in major grocery stores, uh, private label gains. And I think that in, uh, in any environment, people are looking to save money. 85% of consumers use coupons on a regular basis in the grocery store. But it's especially important in times where you've had 25% increase in prices since COVID. Um, and so we believe that that is part of why we're seeing strength in terms of the promotional environment. Although now we're getting uh, price cuts, Brian, across the board at major retailers like Costco and Target and Amazon. Does that make promotions less of a surgical tool? How does it change? Yeah, it's a great question, Carl. No, I think it confirms that what's going on is everybody, both retailers and brands, are recognizing that there may have been too many price increases in the recent uh, quarters and years. And so what they're looking to do is recapture uh, consumers' interest in trying their products. We provide a very uh, uh, you know, flexible tool for the leading brands to reach consumers, uh, putting the right offer in front of the right consumer at the right time. And that's something that they can control. Retailers have their own levers, you know, decreasing prices overall. I think recently Target announced that 5,000 products would have lower prices out of uh, obviously yeah. a much, much larger number of those in the store. What about the Walmart partnership? Because I think that the Walmart cash went live, what, last fall? What have you seen in terms of customer adoption and where that relationship can go, how big it can get? Yeah, we continue to see a great growth in terms of the redeemer base of people using Walmart cash to redeem. Walmart uh, is you know, the leading member of a, of a network that we have with multiple publishers. Uh, it's a place where we see a lot of headroom for growth. Uh, we, we know there's 140 million people who shop weekly at Walmart. Still a relatively small percentage are using digital manufacturer offers, but we're seeing that grow uh, even ahead of where we estimated. Uh, we think that this environment will continue to be a, a tailwind for that, not just at Walmart, but all the other publishers, Dollar General, Family Dollar, Kroger, all the places that are part of our network. We took note of that really interesting journal story this week, Brian, about uh, private label uh, taking about 22 cents of every dollar now, uh, which is the highest uh, on record. And I wonder how high you think that number might get. Well, it's been growing. You know, I think that consumers are frustrated with the price increases. And the number one way to, to build market shares to make sure consumers are buying and trying your product and seeing that it's different, that it's got inherent qualities that are better than the store brand, there has been you know, a, a gradual shift, as you say, and I think they don't want to find out how, far, how high that can go, that the leaders of America's CPG companies need to recapture that market because it's a lifetime value consideration. If you lose a customer to private label, you don't just lose one sale, you may lose 25 purchases in a given year, and that consumer may be 25 or 30 years old, and you're losing them for the rest of their life. So if you can use a smart tool to convince someone to come back into the fold, you don't just look at it in terms of the margin of that one sale, but really an LTV analysis of that customer.